Okay, I feel like I'm in one of those confessionals, but... So initially this video was going to focus on decluttering, but since I had to declutter anyway to prepare to move, it just kind of all flows together. So we're going to go ahead and get started with getting the kitchen area cleaned up and that will get things going. So stay tuned. can see it's so messy in here like this is ridiculous sticky there's a whole bunch of like sauces this shelf is broken so i need to try to fix that and it's just like a mess down here is everything that i've taken out so far which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever um i'm sure like stuff like this has expired like 2020 wow um clearly i have like this is all i've been neglecting this project for a while but we're gonna go ahead and continue to take everything out wipe it all down and toss out all the expired stuff i do have my seasonings here. I need some new labels because my husband 
messed them up with his wet hands i said please don't touch them with dirty hands so some of these labels are going to need to be replaced but that's fine but for the most part my seasonings will go here uh well what i use back stock can go in there Okay, so here's a quick look at this being a little bit more organized. Um, it's not what I had planned, but because I don't have all the necessary um, items for here, I just went with something quick and just tried to do like a general. So like teas and sweeteners, medicines, um, healthy stuff, baking, the bigger items that can't fit down here and then i just kind of started tossing things in here um and then like typical seasons the one that i use frequently i kind of put to the front but most of that is back stock because again my seasonings are here that i frequently use nice and labeled so this is more of just kind of like back stock and extra items i do need to start making dinner so i went ahead and just threw that in there because i needed the counter space zara here <laughs> don't make a mess sit down You're welcome. Oh.
head in. <laughs> to pay our last couple days of rent. So we're just pushing Zara to the mailbox with one hand. Her truck is so filthy. <laughs> okay, so I usually put my rent in a little envelope. Um, since we're only gonna be here for about five days, it was only 80 bucks. So I stick it in there and drop it. Pull that up. And he'll get it. Our last sprint drop. Hey. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. How do you feel about paying our last cheese. rent here? You just want to say cheese? cheese? Okay, that works. Ready to go? Yay, let's go! So we got a lot of things from our back bunk room that we were kind of using as a storage to um, just store miscellaneous things. A lot of this stuff is what was back there. So we just kind of been sorting through it. I have a ton of diapers that I'm gonna try to um, either give away or sell for a couple dollars. Um, this play pen bassinet set we never even really used it just became like kind of like a storage for Zara's extra clothes and things so she never actually um was in it so I want to kind of find find a way to get rid of that as well you know either again sell it for a couple dollars um because that could always <laughs> be used for gas or something and then um just some other miscellaneous items that I'm kind of sorting through to get rid of. We're probably going to have to get rid of her little truck, which makes me so sad because she loves that thing. But we just need to be practical in terms of what we can actually carry with us. And um, we won't have this much yard space at all. So we're probably going to be super close to our neighbors based off of the pictures that I've seen. So Look at my little battery. Look at it. It's smoking. Oh yeah. Yep. So, another small setback. Um, so, my husband's battery has been cutting off on his truck. It's on his way now to go get a new battery. But this one is like smoking and basically sizzling. Giving off a rotten egg smell. So, it definitely needs to be changed. Oh, and no! So, I was trying to explain that the battery situation so basically my husband just left to go and get a new battery for his truck it's been given problems for the past week um and he kind of was relying on jump starts 
and then you know using my vehicle as well but we just discovered that it was smoking and it was giving off this rotten egg smell so we really needed to go ahead and get rid of it um and that's just again to show god is good because i'm happy we discovered that now versus while we were on the road to our new destination so with that being said um i have a fan the fan blowing setting you know blowing away that kind of smell because i did kind of um just read up on it a bit and they did said that it can be toxic and i don't really have time to like say okay let me stay inside i mean i can't work on some things inside but we really need to kind of get outside taken care of so it's just best if i can put that fan on blow away that smell also allow it to cool down the battery a bit and then um i can keep getting things done out here. so the plan is to load up his truck with everything that needs to go to the dump and once he comes back with the battery he, he's going to use his vehicle to go do that he also um, has some things that he needs to take care of today so a lot of the remaining work is going to be left on me <laughs> which is fine um oh zara london so um i'm just gonna try to get as much as i can done You missed it. There's still some miscellaneous things in the yard. I'm gonna give this potting soil to my neighbor. That tent is not supposed to be gone with us, but it may just get tossed in. We'll see what So coming to you with the most recent update, as you can see, there's still quite a few things in the yard, but it's gonna get taken care of. I have been running errands all day today i been all over the world honestly and i just got back home because so our dirt bikes were stolen a couple months ago one was recovered that we have with us and then the other one was picked up by the police department and so they contacted us to let us know that they had it but we had so much going on that we out of sight, out of mind type of situation. And so now we're leaving tomorrow and we're like, oh my gosh, the dirt bike. So luckily my husband called earlier and we got the information that we needed. They do in fact have it. And um, so he's at work. Obviously I have to go pick it up. <laughs> um, it's 
quite far from where we live so that's gonna kind of set me back in terms of like other things that I need to take care of here but um, I just got to do it so with that being said I am headed to go do that and actually with those dirt bikes is we're gonna see if we can possibly either sell them today or tomorrow before we leave try to sell them or else they just have to come with us we really don't have the extra cargo space to haul them at the moment so we'll see which way it goes okay these two have got a new home they're going to and yeah i would say we'll meet again but <laughs> who knows <laughs> I think I'm in one of those confessionals, but it is now close to 1.30 and I'm over it. <laughs> just being completely honest, I am over it. This has been just a week straight of just trying to get things done. What it has taught me is that we just accumulated way too much stuff. Uh, and I don't want to do that again so again I feel like I've been being minimal but until you start moving and really assessing everything that you have it's really hard to say or to really know that you're truly living a minimalistic lifestyle now our next location show should be a little bit better <laughs> in terms of me prioritizing what is like necessity from like not a necessity now granted like i said we've been here almost four years so of course you're gonna accumulate things within that time frame uh and especially because we have a toddler now and i see things and i'm like oh she needs this oh but really kind of i want it to play with her so <laughs> i just have to be a little bit more mindful of again what i am picking up and if i'm gonna bring something into our home then i should be eliminating something as well so I have a couple more things out here in the yard that needs to be taken care of. Um, I'm going to try to just tidy it up at this point. I have a couple things that I'm giving to some neighbors. So I'm going to go ahead and try to start doing that. And I'm kind of sad because I've got some tomatoes coming up. And I'm leaving them before I get to see how they turn out. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, pray for me because <laughs> I'm trying to find whatever strength I can find. Whatever strength I have left in me to keep going at this point. So, with that being said, let's continue.